often there are multiple ways to uh, solve a problem, and it may not be the initial way that you thought about. I remember once in the middle of the Gateway project when we had a uh, uh, some of the costing came in and we were $92 million uh, out of whack in terms of the budget. And when the budget was supposed to be at that time around $300 million, that was a lot of money. Uh, so the initial thought that some folks had was, okay, how do we pare this back to stay within that $300, $330 million goal? Um, and that wasn't going to work. That was not going to get us a ballpark and an arena. Uh, we had to change gears and find another $92 million, which we did. Uh, so you have to be flexible in uh, how you approach these things. And I think if you do it uh, with a spirit of cooperation with the other side, in the case of Gateway, there were lots of other sides. <laughs> On the Indians piece of that, we were dealing with Dick Jacobs and his team. The Cavs, it was Gordon Gund and his team. And of course, our client was the public and the various public sector players, and there were a lot of them. Uh, so, you know, the, it was always about uh, not giving up, uh, sticking to the effort, uh, but being flexible and trying to see that there might be another way to solve the problem than uh, what we originally had forecast. I think uh, it is really important for people to think big and to have bold vision, uh, to dream, if you will. And I think it is extremely important that people who have the wherewithal who have accomplished things in their life and who have the means to help drive a community forward, that they think big and that they not be intimidated by the difficulties of putting together public-private partnerships. They are difficult. And for so many businessmen, getting into that uh, regimen is hard because it is foreign. Uh, you know, so many people have been successful by playing their cards very close to the vest, by taking their own counsel, not being open, not being transparent, as we were talking about before, that this digital age kind of makes you do. And so I think it's a risk that uh, a lot of people in the uh, uh, business community uh, don't want to take to become developers, so to speak. But I think that it is amazingly satisfying. I can go around this country and show my children and grandchildren 40-some buildings that I have had a hand in building, and there are a lot of people who get great enjoyment from going into those ballparks, arenas, stadiums, convention centers, whatever. It's very satisfying to be able to say that you have had a mark on community and if you move your community forward. And I would certainly encourage people to be willing to take that both reputational risk and getting out of their comfort zone risk uh, to engage in those kind of big projects. Uh, I think we in Greater Cleveland still uh, are reticent to do really big things. The Gateway Project, for example, we spent at the end of the day $461 million, which was a lot of money. But that's not a lot of money today in today's thinking. Uh, we shouldn't be afraid to do projects just because they have a B behind it instead of an M behind it. Um, those projects are important, they're legacies, and they move economic development forward. Uh, so I, you know, I really would encourage people to take the risk. Too often, I think uh, we tend, uh, as we're looking at a transaction or a deal, to talk to ourselves and we don't get some outside input into uh, whatever the transaction is. If it's a real estate deal in which you are going to convert a building from office to housing, uh, take a look at the whole gamut of housing out there, not just what the guy next door did, uh, but get some input uh, from uh, a variety of different places and different types and see how you can apply those that learning to your particular project. And I don't 
think we quite do that as much as we ought. We tend to be insular and uh, clamp down and and uh, uh, base everything on what we did yesterday. And in a way, it's kind of like fighting yesterday's war. It, it doesn't usually work quite so well as it could. Thank you.